Next up, we have a contest over 10 rounds or fewer for the WBA Asia Super Featherweight title. This is Wen Song, Liu of China. 11 wins, 3 defeats, and a draw. It's won the WBO Oriental Featherweight title in the past. And also the WBC Asian Super Featherweight title which he unfortunately lost in his most recent fight in June. That was by six-round stoppage against the fighter called Rio Nakai. Дамы и господа, сейчас приветствую тебя на пути в золотой угол ринга из Уфы, Башкортостан, Артур Субханкула! Here comes the hometown fighter, Artur Subhankulov, from Ufa, 32 years old. Undefeated as a professional and experienced international amateur boxed in World Series boxing. One in Sofukov in July against the 15 0 Abed Kasongo. And here in Ufa in August had an eight round win against Roland Gallos. That was a good fight. Last June took down another undefeated fighter in Ablakan Khusainov, who was 12 0, the 8 0 and 1 Lazarus Shaningwa before that. So things have been rolling on nicely. He's taken a step up in recent times. Iber Pro European Champion at Lightweight tonight going for the WBA Asia Super Featherweight title. Дамы и господа, нас ожидает 10-раундовый поединок за вакантный титул WBA Asia во втором полулегком весе. Супервайзер WBA Сергей Хурсанов, Россия. Судьи в рингсайде Рикардо Дункан, Сильвестре Абаинза и Густаво Падилья. Рефери в ринге Сальвадор Сальва, Испания. Итак, дамы и господа, представляю участников этого боя и первым боксера в черном углу ринга. Ему 21 год. Его рост 169 сантиметров, а вес 59,5 килограмма. Его рекорд впечатляет. 10 боев, 9 побед, только одно поражение из Китая. Венсон Лю! Боксеру в золотом углу ринга 32 года. Его рост 170 сантиметров, а вес 59,9 килограмма. Мастер спорта международного класса. Многократный призер чемпионатов России. Победитель Кубка мира нефтяных стран и престижного турнира «Странжа». Действующий чемпион Европы IBA с безупречным рекордом. 6 боев, 6 побед, 4 из них нокаутом из Уфы, Башкортостан, Россия. Артур Субханкула. Liu in the black, boxing out of that black corner. Subkan Kulov on screen now in the white.
lost on professional debut when Song Lu, but has responded well since then. Quite a few famous fighters from down history have lost on debut. Bernard Hopkins, the most famous, I think, probably. Johnny Nelson lost his first few as a pro. The great Henry Armstrong. Good luck. Sarita gets a run beside from more recent times. Six years younger when Song Lu. Okay. Okay. Sukan Kulov is looking to move pretty quick as a pro, I would say. In the white, he's again boxing out of the southpaw stands three in a row from the home corner. Russian fighters. Coming out of the southpaws. Good range with the one two there, so can Kulov nice and quick. Jab from Subkan Kulov. Just jabbing the club there. Subkan Kulov. Maybe looking for an opening that way. Straight down the middle again with another one, too. Didn't quite reach, I don't think. Very compact, the Russian fighter. Wide back. Again, just dipping those knees and looking for the left hand into the body when Song Liu just taking his feet out of range and then reaching for his own right, which again was short. Watch the feet. Watch the feet, sir. <laughs> Good use of the jab there from Sukan Kulov. He's been nice and measured in this opening round. When Son Lu has found it difficult to get near him, really. Good exchange on the inside, but again, it's Sukan Kulov who comes off the better. Setting that left hand down the middle there, Subkan Kulov. Good opening round. The Russian was on top there. Found a few openings, nothing major. When Son Lu struggled really to find his range. Long way to go. The schedule for 10. Watch 
Just keeping that head on the move, Subkan Kulov trying to jab his way in. When Son Lu loses his balance slightly as he came forward there. Stooping with the right hand into the body. Subkan Kulov gets tight to there, gets nice and close and let the hands go to the body. Little step to the right, then then throws that left hand straight down the centre. Just mixing up the angle a little bit there, so can cool off. And then on the inside, looks to let his hands go. That's a good exchange from him. And he's just got those feet slightly tighter in this second round. When some losing a bit of trouble here. The legs didn't quite go there, but they looked a little bit jittery. And this is not where he wants to be. That range is absolutely disastrous for him, really. He gets cuffed by two or three good shots at that mid-range, and Subkan Kulov is getting after him in this second round at the moment. Good right hand there, though, from Wen Song Lu. For Subkan Kulov. Again, got nice and close, a referee. Yeah, he probably had just about called break there. The blood coming out of the end of the nose there of Wen Song Lu, but Subkan Kulov has made some proper inroads in this round. And I think what he's realised is that he can just get those feet in a little bit closer. I don't think he has any real respect for the power of Wen Song Lu. He's walked onto a couple of right hands, but he doesn't seem to really care because once he gets into that kind of distance, then he can use that upper body strength, turn at the waist. Puts a variety into those punches. And this has been a tricky round, a tough round for Wen Song Lu. Still 20 seconds or so remaining in it. Again, that's a punishing combination. Good round for Subkan Kulov. That's not his blood. Slightly slow up his stool there when Song Lu just using every possible yeah, moment between rounds. He took a bit of stick in that second round. The Subkan Kulov should look to turn the screw a bit further here because, as I said, he had the look of a man in the second who, without being too reckless, just doesn't really have much concern about the power of the man in front of him. When you look at them physically there, they are different, aren't they? You look at the shoulders and the back and the musculature, really, of Subkan Kulov. And when Song Lu, by comparison, looks quite spelt. Good jab from Subkan Kulov. Looking to whip to the body with that left hand, but was short with it. Good left hand there from Wen Song Lu. Some Kang Kulov trying to move in. 
got caught with it. Good jab again there from Sulkan Kulov. Varies it up down to the body this time. Two in a row. Nice combination from Sulkan Kulov. And he looks to open out Wen Song Lu when he's under fire on the inside there. He looks to throw himself and that chin comes up in the air a bit. It's dangerous. Moving in behind a, a right hand lead, a double right hand lead there. Wen Song Lu. to the body there, Subkan Kulov, up to the head, then down to that ribcage area. He mixes it up nicely. Wen Song Lu, to be fair to him, is always looking to try and fire back. Into round four, Subkan Kulov boxing in front of his home crowd here, as he has done previously. He's made a good start in the first three rounds. When Song Lu looking to try and be busier in this fourth and see if he can dictate terms to touch and put Subkan Kulov onto the back foot. I don't think Subkan Kulov will be upset about this because he can leave himself a bit open, the Chinese fighter, when he comes forward. I think Subkan Kulov will feel that an aggressive Wen Song Lu will leave openings. Good right hand, long right hand there from Wen Song Lu. Got through, wasn't that much left on it by the time it landed, but it did land. Right hook there from Subkan Kulov, just as Wen Song Lu was opening out, and that was perilously close, I think, to being a very solid connection. Nice snap on the one two there from Subkan Kulov. He's put a real shift in in this round, the Chinese fighter so far. Just over a minute remaining in it, but he's worked very, very hard. Really to keep Subkan Kulov off him more than anything else to occupy him. I just wonder how much this kind of effort is going to take out of him. The mouth is already hanging open. And he hasn't made Subkan Kulov look too uncomfortable, but 
I understand the tactic. And to an extent, it has worked because he ships some punishment in the previous round, but not in this round. Comparatively. Good round. Just throwing that lead left hook as a distraction there really went on Lou to step in and find the right to the body. He does have quite an unorthodox style at times. And that was the right hook which did make contact but was nearly a very solid punch. And I do wonder, I do think actually that that fourth round, the way that he went about it when Sun Lu would have taken something out of the tank. He needed to try and get back onto that front foot. I understand what he was doing, but I just wonder whether he can keep that up because he's going to need to. No more warnings with the head, okay? Well, the referee saying to him, no more warnings with the head. He does have a slightly awkward style and can tend to carry the head in a little bit low at times. There's nothing deliberate about it. So Kad Kulov with a lovely left hand to the body there, a stabbing left. And again. He's looking to go down there this round as much as he possibly can. Again, just attacking that body. That's the tactic he switched to in this round extensively so far. Again, another left hand into the pit of the stomach. Those elbows do flare away from the rib cage a bit for Wen Song Nguyen again. Meaty connections. Every time he's throwing to the body, Sukhan Kulov almost, he's landing. And then switches up to the head. Just dropping those hands and standing off there when Song Lu. He's found it difficult in this round to get too much done. Left hand into the body again there from Subkan Kulov. And he's going to start to feel these. That was a very solid left hand into the body. And he felt that one when Song Lu, I think. I think he felt that one. Just backed up a little bit. He's still coming forward and trying to throw, but he just took a, a couple of steps back, would drop those elbows a little bit. Lovely uppercut there from Subkan Kulov and then just turns around that front foot, cuffing left hand. And then the straight one, too. This has been a good round for the Russian, it really has. He's really invested in that body and then in the final minute been slightly more expansive. A lot of fighting spirit here from Wen Song Lu because he's just being outgunned here, but he is full of industry, still with plenty of ambition.
要坐，要胸口抱紧，往前挺。对，不是你的，都不是你的，别想这问题。That's a good example of some of that body work we could have picked out any spell really from that round to illustrate the body work. There's the uppercut. Took it well though. They managed to avoid the left hand. There is our two better BF. I was ringside. In Riyadh, it's Saudi Arabia at the weekend, and what a pleasure it was to be there. An absolutely magnificent fight between Betaviev and Dmitry Bivol for the undisputed World Light Heavyweight Championships. Phenomenal stuff. Two outstanding fighters who were class acts before, during, and after the fight. It was a very close fight. Betaviev knew that himself. And I would dare say that the two will rematch before too long. But great to see him just a few days later supporting this card. Phenomenal Ivor fighter himself, actually. Arta better be an Ivor world champion, a silver medalist, and another world championship. A two time European champion. Just a brilliant competitor, amateur and pro, and now undefeated. And undisputed, although he was taken the distance for the very first time but by Dmitry Bivol, who himself was absolutely fantastic. Looking for left hand there against Ukan Kulov. And he was ringside better be Evan Sopukov in July to watch Albert Badagaziev and Muslim Gachi Magomedov. The three of them all from the same part of Russia. Good left hand there from Lu. Crunching left there from Subkan Kulov, but when Sang Lu just managed to soak it up. Good lead right hand there from Subkan Kulov again, and then just turns around that front foot. He's a well organized, compact fighter, good technique. He's got a decent bit of pop, but a right hand gets through there from Wen Song Lu. And you have to have a lot of admiration for the way he's going about this as well. In terms of the technical ability here, he is the inferior of the two. Subkan Kulov is a better boxer. Wen Song Lu has got a lot of spirit, though. A lot of will to win, which is extremely important. And at no point has he grown discouraged. I don't think he's won many rounds here. Maybe not any. Don't push him. But he's still coming forward, looking to try and land. Don't put the shoulder out to the head. 
So into the seventh, Wen Song Lu just trying to work the body. Subkan Kulov just pinning the arm of Wen Song Lu on the blind side of the referee. The referee, though, did see it. Good body attack again there from Subkan Kulov. So I think may well be realizing that he's going to have to box out the rounds here, and he's have to. He's going to have to keep the work rate high. He's going to have to pay Wen Song Lu the ultimate respect because I don't think he's going to go anywhere. He said it was some really good, solid shots, and there is quite a long way to go still, but there's no real sign that the stoppage is going to come here for Sub Kan Kulov. If it does, I think it will be quite late. He is dominating this fight, but his opponent just keeps looking to try and roll forward. He's eaten some big, solid shots. But at no stage does he really look like he's hurt. But in some fights you do get this, where the fighter is soaking it up and soaking it up until all of a sudden they're not. And I wouldn't rule that out as a possibility in the later rounds. Good right hand there again from Subkam Kulov. Wen Song Lu, though, is just trying to put it on him, keep it on him, make him work really, really hard, hoping, I think, that he will start to tire. There's no real sign of that yet. Midway through round seven, and Subkan Kulov has made contact with a pretty considerable number of headshots in this round. around that front foot, just clubbing with the left hand as of Gangulov, and then just steps into the uppercut. This has been a tough round for Wen Song Lu. There have been a number of tough rounds for him, but he'd had a better round the round before, and this one has been hard. But again that. Still throwing, always throwing. in the mouth there that could be a number of things it's most likely to be damage caused to the inside of the lips or maybe the tongue by the fighters own teeth punches coming in the mouth slams shut and you can end up biting the inside of your mouth or even your tongue So three to go here. The WBA Asia Super Featherweight title on the line and a ranking to go along with it, one would imagine. Watch your heads. Long left hand there from Subkan Kulov, didn't quite make it. Good jab from the Russian, and then steps in with the one-two. He's got good feet, his feet are almost always underneath him. Very rarely chases punches in or comes over the top of that front foot. Reminds me of the R2 that we just saw at ringside there in that instance. Not a better be ever. That's one of the things that is so brilliant about him is that those feet give him such great balance. Turns at the waist, throws the punches, doesn't really seem to ever load up with anything, but has this astonishing power. Sufkan Kulov is a 
a very well-drilled fighter in terms of the footwork, how compact he is. Not a huge puncher by the look of it, but punches hard enough. Clubbing right hand again there. Short right hand on the inside and followed by a left. And again, he's looking to try and work Wen Song Lu over here, who remains absolutely resolute. He can take a good shot, the Chinese fighter. There's no question about that. He went 10 in September last year when Song Lu against Adenabat Ten Barta, a good, good Mongolian fighter, lost by split decision. Wild scores. Wide scores for either one and then a draw in the middle. It was slightly strange, but again he's showing here tonight that at a good level he is a durable fighter. So into the ninth, when Song Lu immediately, as soon as the bell goes, just ditches in a one two. And Sub Kankulov just times him with his own one two, thrown out of that south four stance. I don't think Sub Kankulov can do much more than he's doing because. As I say, he's not been reckless at any point. That's just not really in his makeup. He's picked his punches well. He's looked for the openings. He's shown good variety. He cracks nice and solidly. He's been in with someone who went Song Lu, who has got good punch resistance. Although he did get stopped in his last fight. And who tonight has shown a lot of will to keep trying to win, to keep coming forward. And so Kan Kulov has attacked him hard to the body as well. The heads are the heads are and this is going to be a good what 10 rounds are under the belt for Subkan Kulov. At a good pace. And that is never a bad thing. Switches up from the body to the head there and just stopped Wen Song Lu in his tracks. But again, the Chinese fighter, although for a split second there, he looked a little bit stunned. straight back into it it's almost like every now and again he gets hit hard enough that the screen just flickers but it reboots quick and then he's coming forward again The head. 
set his feet and look to really put some steam on the left hand there. Subkan Kulov missed with it, but left him in a perfect position to throw a right, which then did connect. I've got so much time for this from Wen Song Lu because he's behind here, he's a mile behind here. But he's sticking to his task and he's still trying to win this fight. At no point does he look to just try and tuck up and get through to survive, to take less punishment, basically. He just knows one way and this is it. And it's not that he hasn't had success, he has had some success, but it's been quite clear for everybody watching who is winning. Good left hand there towards the end of the round from Subkan Kulov again. One to go here. And the arena just filling up. Next up, we've got Mutalim Gadjimakimedov defending his WBA Bridgeway title. Very, very good amateur, two-time Ivor World Champion, Olympic silver medalist. And then after that, Albert Banagaziev defending his Ivor World Lightweight title. Having won the WBA interim super featherweight title in his last fight, Badakaziev, an Olympic champion and a two time Ivor World champion as well. Okay. There he is, Artur Betabiev. I watched him train last Wednesday night. We were invited to the gym by his team to watch him do one of his final workouts. It was about midnight because that was roughly the time of night that they would be preparing to fight. When they'd be close to getting into the ring and we just saw him go about his business, doing the drills he's done for years. Good one-two there from Subkan Kulov into the final round here. You see him do that press-up routine on the fingertips on the close fist, on the back of the hand. Bit of pad work, everything done with such precision. No music. Just pure concentration. Right hand into the body there from Sukan Kulov. And when Song Lu is just looking to throw the kitchen sink at his opponent in this final round, he needs a knockout. He's not going to get it, but he's putting in an almighty effort here. Good left hand there from Sukan Kulov. And it's been a good fight to watch, right from the start. Subkan Kulov really putting them together nicely, right hand into the body. Just working around that front foot, changing the angle. The referees talk to Winston Liu a lot about keeping that head up, but hasn't taken a point at any stage, which is a good thing because okay. I don't think there really would have been any need. Nice right hand there from Wen Song Lu. I think Subkan Kulov was expecting referee to call break and he didn't. Good left hand is the body again there from Subkan Kulov. It's been a really lively fight. Good pace to it. I wonder whether the judges will find much for Wen Song Lu here. It's difficult from where I'm sitting to give him many, if any, rounds, to be honest, because although he's put in an enormous effort, and as I've said, has had pockets of success, the way the boxing is scored, you can win a minute of each of the ten rounds, which is a third of the fight, but on the cards you'll lose 10-0. Good finish there for both of these two. 
The bell goes at the end. Terrific fight. Wen Song Lu raises his gloves. And he put on a good, good show. And took Kang Kulov working hard right up until the end there. And it was his greater quality. There was a difference between the pair of them. But that's a good hard half an hour, a good hard 30 minutes. Which will stand him in good stead going forward. Posing for photos a lot tonight, Arta Betabiev, and he won't mind one bit because he is a patient, very pleasant man, but it comes with the territory of having become undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. 21 fights, 21 wins, 20 knockouts, and he finished the fight strong, and that's what won him the fight. As I said earlier, it was very, very close. But it was a strong finish that got him over the line. An absolute classic. I really hope we see it again. Pretty sure we will. He looks a little bit disappointed there, Sukhan Kulov, but I make that a pretty good performance. Таким образом, единогласным решением судей победу по очкам одержал и стал чемпионом WBA Asia во втором полулегком весе. И... So Sukhan Kulov gets the win in a good, hard fight.
сейчас вы просто взрываете нам шоу, поэтому большая просьба сделать фотографии после мероприятия. Уверен, Артур никому не откажет. Сделаем это после. Спасибо. Запускает уникальное производство по экрану с содержанием вторичного сырья, чтобы дарить пластику вторую жизнь. Здесь работают люди с общими ценностями, которые меняют мир. И мы заботимся об экологии на каждом этапе. Поэтому производство работает, используя энергию солнца по специальной технологии.